morning friends so today I am working on part two of my jewelry display case and so I'm going to show you the supplies that I'm going to be using on the second portion basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding some shelves and we're going to be adding some actual display cases to put the jewelry so first thing that we're going to need is we're actually going to use two more panes of glass that came out of the dollar store picture frames um, I also picked up some of these little pearl beads and I got these from the Just a Buck store, and um, I'm gonna be using these for a few different things. I also have some ribbon. I actually have two of these, small, thin ribbon. It is, um, let's see, it is the 3 three eighth inch ribbon, and it's nine feet long, and I just picked up a um, like a chevron pattern that I liked. Um, I also picked up three little blocks of fabric, and these are the fabrics that I actually wanted to incorporate into the um, color scheme of my jewelry display case. So this one's kind of like a brown, um, this one's like a tan with a floral, and then I wanted to add little, a little pop of like this green color, and that's got some tan little circles in it. So I'm going to use these. These were actually um, from Joanne Fabrics, and I think that they were $2.50 a piece, um, but I had a 20% off coupon. It's an 18 by 21 inch piece, so it's a fairly good size piece. All right, so then I have two pieces of thick felt, and I make, made sure to get the thickest felt that I could find. Um, you can use batting for like quilting, like the very thin batting if you want as well, but I thought the felt might be just easier. It doesn't matter what color, I just wanted to make sure it was fairly thick. And these came from Joanne Fabric as well. Then I've got like an assortment of different frames, and these all came from the dollar store. Um, I got a 4x6, I got a couple 5x7s, actually I think three 5x7s, and two 8x10s. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be using all of these, but I just wanted to make sure that I had uh, an arrangement because I want to have different size trays that the jewelry is going to be placed on. I have more of my um, diamond wrap ribbon that came from the Dollar Tree. I have some hot glue. I have my little um, dry erase fine tip marker because I'm going to be using this to mark up my glass and then some scissors and a little um, ruler. And I think that is just about all we're gonna need. So let's get started on this project. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're actually going to take our jewelry display case and we're gonna place it on its side like this because we're going to be measuring on the inside of both of the wall pieces. We're gonna be measuring because we're gonna be using a couple of these little beads to make little um, knobs for glass trays to sit on. So what I'm going to do is I measured the width, I measured like the width from one side to the other of my gla glass side panel and then I divided it by three because I wanted to have an even amount of space between each because um, I'm going to do two shelves and so I wanted to have an even amount of space between each shelf. So basically what I did was I took my small little um, I used this because it fits in, on the inside and I just measured over um, and made a mark with my um, erasable um, marker and so I have a mark here and a mark here. Mine ended up being about five and a half centimeters um, from one side and then five and a half centimeters from the other side. So that is the spot that we're going to glue our little beads to. And I did the same thing for the back as well so that I had the same amount on the back. Because we're going to take these little beads and we're going to take our hot glue and I'm actually going to work on the very back first. So I'm going to just take one of my little beads and I'm going to just put a little bit of hot glue. Be very careful that you don't burn your fingers. I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to place that bead right on the mark that I made. And these are just going to be like little feet for my shelves to sit on. Make sure it sits right on the the little mark that you made so that way it's um, your shelf will be even. Okay, so now you can see I have two little beads um, on the front and on the back and I'm gonna flip my 
jewelry display case over and I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other side with the exact same measurements. Okay, so now you can take your glass panes and you can kind of slide them in. And if you measured everything correctly, then they should sit nicely on those little, um, those little beads that we hot glued. So now you should have two shelves on the inside of your jewelry display case. So now we're gonna set this aside. We're gonna now make some trays that you're going to put the jewelry on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these frames that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna decide which ones I want. Now, I'm thinking that I might do Let's see. I think I'm going to do two of the 8 by 10s like one at the bottom and then one maybe in the middle. Let's see. One at the bottom and then one in the middle and then maybe two of the 5 by 7s at the top on the top shelf. I'm thinking I might do that. And then maybe one of the smaller 4 by 6s up top. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to kind of just show you um, the layout that I'm going to use. So I'm going to use um, an 8 by 10 at the bottom, an 8 by 10 in the middle, and then two 5 by 7s on the top shelf. And then up top, I'm going to use a 4 by 6 and a 5 by 7, okay? And these are just going to be trays that you're going to be able to put jewelry on and just set them on top of your display case and set them in the little um, compartments but we're gonna decorate them and we're gonna put little handles on them as well. So I'm gonna unwrap all of the cellophane and I'm gonna take all of the um, glass and, and backing and everything off of each one and I'm gonna go down and spray paint them all gold because, because I want them to all match gold because they're all different as far as they all have different um, frames, but I want them to all be gold. So I'm gonna go and spray paint all of these. Now you can also, when you're removing the back piece, you can also remove the little tabs because you will not need these because we will be gluing the actual um, piece that's gonna go in the center. We're gonna be gluing that right to the frame itself. So we don't even need these little back tabs. So I'm just gonna wiggle them and pry them out of all of the frames. All right, so while my other frames are drying, because um, I spray painted them gold, this one was already painted gold, so I'm just gonna leave it as is, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with this frame. So I took the back of the frame, and I'm just pulling off like the little hooks, and um, this is the part, these are the little pieces that you hang the frame up on the wall with. I'm just pulling them out, and again, I'm just pulling off the the back stand thing and because um, I don't want anything on the back of this um, piece I want to use this back piece but I don't want anything on the back of this so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my felt or one piece of my felt I am going to trace my um, backer piece onto my piece of felt with my marker so I'm gonna just line it up to the corner and I'm gonna just trace just so I know what to cut. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut that piece out. All right, now that I have my felt cut out, what I'm gonna do is I want the smoothest side to be on the bottom. So I'm actually gonna use the black side up because the black side has a little bit of rough um, spots on it from pulling the hooks out. And I'm gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue, one in the center and one little dot on each corner. And I'm gonna glue my felt right down to my backer board. I'm gonna take my fabric and open it up. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my fabric. I'm gonna trace out a piece of the fabric but I'm gonna leave a little bit of an overhang because what I wanna do is I wanna be able to wrap this fabric around the edges of my backer board here. So I'm just gonna lay my fabric out and I'm going to place my backer board on the fabric and I wanna leave about a one inch overhang on either side. And so I'm just gonna make a little mark 
kind of, I'm not using a ruler or anything. I'm literally just gonna estimate what a one inch, about one inch is. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out. Okay, so now I have my piece of fabric all cut out and I'm gonna, again, lay this face down so that the back side of the fabric is facing up. And I'm gonna take my backer piece with my felt side facing down as well. I'm gonna place my felt side right up against my um, fabric, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start hot gluing this fabric to the backer board. So I'm gonna just take some hot glue and I'm gonna make sure I pull my fabric up and over so that it um, kind of pulls tight. And I'm gonna pull this fabric and glue it all on the back side of my backer board. So I'm, I'm gonna do one side, then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do the opposite side. All right, so now we're going to work on the opposite ends here. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna just fold it over and I'm gonna start with a corner piece first. Okay, so this is what you should have now. You should have a nice little fabric, um, soft cushion almost, that's gonna go inside your frame. But before we put it in the frame, we're now gonna put some um, ribbon on this and the ribbon I'm going to put the ribbon on in a diagonal kind of crisscross way so that way you can put your jewelry or like your necklaces or your bracelets down kind of underneath the ribbon to kind of hold it in place okay now what we're going to do is the ribbon is going to be um in different sizes so first I'm going to start with the longest piece which is going to go from corner to corner so I'm actually gonna um, estimate about how much I'm gonna need of the ribbon to go from one corner to the opposite corner with a little bit of overhang so we can wrap it around and glue it to the back. So about an inch of overhang. And then I'm just gonna cut what I need. And then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of put it in place. And I'm gonna flip it around. And then I'm going to take my glue and I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the back of my um, board here. And I'm gonna do the, the same thing on the opposite side. Put a little bit of glue on the back. And I'm just gonna glue that down. So now we have one ribbon kind of going diagonal across our um, little cushion here. What we're gonna do is we are going to take um, some more ribbon and we're gonna go, um, we're gonna measure up with our little measuring tool right here. Um, we're gonna measure about five centimeters from the center of the ribbon to the center of the next ribbon where our next strand is gonna go. So I'm just kind of estimating about five centimeters and doing the same on the opposite side of estimate about five centimeters and then with about an inch overhang on either side so that it will wrap around and then I'm gonna cut that and we're gonna do the same thing what I'm gonna do so that I know that this stays in place where I want it is I'm gonna just do a little dot of hot glue on the front on the very edge just so it kind of stays in place. And the same thing on the opposite side. So once that's kind of hot glued, I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna secure the back. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue doing this so that I have strips. I'm gonna do another strip on the opposite side here. So I'm gonna do a strip um, five centimeters from the middle on this one. And then I'll do another strip five centimeters from this one and another one five centimeters from this one. And then maybe um, if I can fit one more at the other corner, I will do that as well. Okay, so I've got all of my ribbon glued on and I did five strips going in one direction and five strips going in the other direction. And you can see how I've kind of just glued the back um, of the strips on to the back of this board. So this is a final board. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to glue that right down to our frame right here. And I just wanna make sure that it fits in the frame. So I'm just kind of pushing it in there just to 
make sure it fits so that's kind of what it should look like once it's glued in place so I am going to just take some hot glue and I'm going to I'm just gonna put a little dot of hot glue um, in the corners and maybe once a little dot in the center just so that it has something to stick to and I'm gonna place this little mat right down in the frame there we go this should be all glued into place so now what we're gonna do is now we're going to make a little handle or a little knob on the end and I'm actually gonna use my diamond wrap and what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of fold this diamond wrap into a little rectangular piece here. And then I'm going to clip it. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fold it into itself. I'm going to take a little of my hot glue. Be careful that you don't burn your fingers when you're doing this. And I'm going to fold it over once. I'm going to take another little bit of hot glue. Fold it again. And basically I'm just making like a little um, square piece that's going to be a handle. A little bit more glue. Fold it again. And then one final, one final little piece. Okay, so now we have this little rectangle like that. This is going to be like the base of our little knob for our handle. And then I'm going to take one of our little pearls that we have. And I'm going to put some glue on the end of one of our pearls. And I'm going to stick that right in the center of our little... So just like that. So this is going to, this is going to be like our little knob or our little handle. It's more or less just for decoration. It's not all that functional. But just to make it pretty. And then we're going to glue this little handle right to the side edge. It's going to kind of go on the side right here. Just like that. So it almost looks like a little a little latch. Put some hot glue right in the center. And we're going to glue our little piece right to it. Just like that. So now it's like a little little knob almost. So that is our first jewelry tray that we're gonna do. I'm going to put some little feet on the bottom and I'm actually gonna use these little pearls as feet as well. So I'm gonna put four little feet on the bottom and I'm gonna put them on the bottom corners. Just put a little hot glue in the corner. And stick one of the little pearls. I'm gonna do the same thing all the way around each corner. All right, so now I've got little four little feet on the bottom of this little jewelry tray. And so that one's done. And we can go ahead and work on the other ones. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I've got all of my other gold frames all dry. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing that I did for that one, but I'm probably gonna use a different fabric. I am gonna be consistent and use the same ribbon on each one of the fabrics though, just to have a little bit of consistency throughout the whole design. All right guys, well here it is. I have it set up in my bathroom. I don't think I'm gonna keep it in here, but I just wanted to put it in here to, because the lighting is really good and you guys can see um, how it all turned out better in the good lighting. I love this. This is going to look so nice. I'm going to end up putting it in my closet. Um, but this is like exactly what I have wanted for a while to display like some of my jewelry that I wear um, more frequently. A lot of my other stuff um, that I don't wear as much or like my real stuff, I'll keep boxed up in the safe or um, 
you know, I usually don't have it out, but a lot of the stuff like my costume jewelry or my jewelry that I wear like on an everyday basis, I wanted to have like a nice display for it. So this is what I've come up with. So I have these little trays and now you can see I've kind of used the ribbon to kind of hold all of the pieces in place. I've kind of like wrapped like some necklaces in and around some of the um, ribbon portions. I've got a bracelet here. Um, I've got another long necklace down here. Um, the stuff that doesn't fit underneath the ribbon, I'm just setting on the top. Um, but again, that's what it looks like. And you can see the cute little pearl feet um, on either side. And so this one will set right on the bottom. And then this one right here is another, um, I just put some necklace and earrings on this one. And I'm loving these like really cute little decorative like knobs that I made out of that diamond wrap ribbon. And then just a the little pearl glued on the front. I just think it adds such a nice touch. So there's that one. Then I did another one right here, which this one's great for like bracelets. I have all my bracelets on here, um, my Alex and Annie bracelets, um, my Disney Pandora. Um, one of my watches um, so these are like the bracelets that I wear more frequently so I have those on this tray and then um, I also have oops, another little um, necklace and earring tray set which again just another pair of well actually I put two pairs of earrings on this one and then like one of my gold necklaces so that's there um, and then up top I have like a ring display where I put a couple rings and then I put some earrings up along the top one and then some more earrings I just set in this one right here. Um, and then there is my little ring display um, that I have that I'm going to do a giveaway on and I stuck some rings on that one and then I also put my perfumes in the back kind of just because they look nice and I wear those ones more, more frequently so I thought they would look really nice on the display. So I hope you guys enjoyed making this. I'm telling you this thing looks expensive and I want to say at the most I spent $20 on the whole thing at the most and a lot of the stuff I already had and then I have a ton of the diamond wrap still left I literally only used one complete roll so you don't need five rolls I bought five I went overboard with the rolls of the diamond wrap so I definitely have plenty left over for another project um, you can see I did the diamond wrap along the sides right here just to cover up the seams I did the diamond wrap in the back um, and again on the sides over here and that just covers the seams and um, yeah so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this DIY if you did give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel check out my Facebook page the pixie dust housewife and we will see you real soon for our next DIY have a great night guys take care